welcome to makeityourown.com. Today we're going to make a crepe paper flower wreath. The items that you'll need for this activity are a grapevine wreath that you can purchase at a craft store. You're going to need sticks or twigs and craft feathers. To build your flower base, we're going to use child safe Q-tips. When you get more sophisticated, you can order flower centers or you can make your own using spun cotton and floral wire. The fourth item you're going to need is stamen. You can purchase these at craft stores or online. What you're going to need is good quality floral tape. You can either purchase this at a florist or I'll provide sources where you can order it online. What you're going to need is a sharp pair of scissors. You may also want to buy a pair of fringing scissors, tacky glue. Two simple embellishments that we use for the flowers were micro beads, and we chose some metallic colors, and some metallic pastels. When purchasing crepe, there are a few different varieties. The first is a lightweight crepe that comes in a streamer. The second is a crepe paper fold. What we're recommending is a crepe paper roll. This is a heavier, more pliable crepe. The last type of crepe paper is a double-sided crepe. Then what you're going to want to do is stretch it out. What we did then was cut it into small strips to cut the petals out of. What we're going to do now is cut a basic petal shape. If you'd like your petals to be uniform, layer them together. Then, you can choose a variety of colors for your petals, or if you would like, you can choose one solid color for each flower. The next step is to take your child safe Q-tip, cut off one end, and discard. We also cut off the tip to make a spherical shape. Next we're going to take a contrasting color of crepe paper that we've already stretched. We then take some tacky glue and then put it in the center of the inside of the crepe paper. Place it in the glue and wrap the crepe paper around. We then take floral tape holding the center of your flower in place. To activate floral tape you then pull it and wrap it around. The next step is to take a contrasting color of crepe paper, fold it over, and then cut it with your fringe scissors. If you don't have fringe scissors, you can easily do this with a pair of sharp scissors, cutting little snips an equal distance apart. You now have all the components of your flower. The next step is to take your fringe and make a line of glue. Then you're going to fold your stamen in half. You are then going to hold this around the flower center. Take your fringe and wrap this around. overlapping at the end, holding your stamen in place. You will then secure this with a piece of floral tape. Make sure that you pull the floral tape to activate the adhesive. Now it's time to attach your petals. If you would like, you can stretch your crepe to shape your petal prior to gluing it on. If you'd like to add a detail, like some metallic pastel, now is the time to do so. What I find easiest is doing two petals at a time. I put a thin line of glue, and then I gently put the petals on opposite sides. You are then going to secure this with a piece of floral tape. Remember to pull it to activate the adhesive. When you put on the next set of petals, try to pick opposite empty spaces. Continue to wrap your floral tape to secure the petals in place. Repeat this process until you get the desired fullness of flower. Another way
way to add some embellishment to your flower is to add microbeads. Simply put glue where you would like your microbeads to be. The next step is to attach your flower to a twig. Take your floral tape and again, pull it tightly around. Now that you've made several branches with flowers, you can either tuck them into the grapevine wreath or you could glue gun them in. To further add some texture, we inserted craft feathers going along the curve of the wreath. Once you've mastered these flower making techniques, there are many amazing books where you can elaborate on your skills. We will post some of those suggestions online. Thanks so much for joining us at makeityourown.com. You can make it all next if you want. Or maybe I could help you. I could pop the balloon. See you next time.